comment about designers being people who shop. Because for us, it's not so much about shopping, it's about creating. And going back again to this idea of fashion, this was a jacket that uh, was made for Nikki some years ago. And we loved it, thought it was so cool. It sort of sticks in your mind. So we made it into, it became a sort of inspiration for a plaster lamp that we've designed. And that's the lamp um, in situ in a couple different projects. We've, we've ended up using it quite a bit. We call it the Picasso lamp. And it just works, it's, it, it's unusual and it works great in modern and really traditional settings. And this is a project we've just uh, almost completed in the south of France, which was super, super, super quick. So we don't always have the luxury of taking time to develop these, uh, you know, really detailed, incredible watercolors. This again had been decorated. I don't know what these decorations in the south of France are up to, but um, so when that space got stripped back, really what we had was almost worse than a boring box because she did actually have wonderful ceiling height absolutely no redeeming features to the space whatsoever and we had 12 weeks to do the project oh my god so the only thing we could really do and she's this isn't a permanent she's going to be here for five years so there a wasn't time and it didn't make sense to do a lot of um to invest a lot in the actual architectural space it was like okay quick fixes so Paint, obviously, is your best friend in a scenario like that. So the idea was to use paint to create the architecture in the space. And this was a this was a watercolor sketch of how we were going to do that to the door surrounds. So that's um, that's one corner of, uh, of one of the finished rooms. And I think it's really successful because if you look at the before and the sort of dismal proportions of those doorways, um, I do think it, it's really, it's lifted the space and the rooms look so much bigger and wonderful. And again, it's unexpected, it's, it's very unique to our client and um, I think it was a successful outcome. And you can see also like with the, with the sofas and the ottomans, we're using really unusual shapes to, uh, and overscale shapes, like overscale everything as much as possible. Sorry. And obviously, like I said, we don't have time in a scenario like this to work up um, really detailed watercolors. So sometimes it's, you know, mood boards on the fly. So 12 weeks to get a project done, we loaded up three suitcases full of samples that we thought were good possibilities, and we literally created mood boards um, on the job site in one day. So we spent the morning with the suitcases, pulling stuff out, brainstorming, having a great time laid them out on tables like this. The client showed up in the afternoon and said, yeah, yeah, I like that, I don't get that. What are you putting that on? Um, and, you know, it's just really loose and on the fly. And that was the scheme for the dining room. Using some of our bespoke fabrics, uh, you know, gilt scallop wallpaper. Again, we're going for real glamour here because we're Monica. And that was the scheme for master bedroom. I don't 